ICC families. This is your new memory work for um, cycle two, week 23, the Abecedarian class. Um, let's start with timeline today. Uh, we had we started with the age of information, if you're typing on a typewriter, and globalization. I'm going to draw a big circle. Um, circa 1970 to the present. We just turned our hands over like right now um, to the present. Watergate, the wall, and the two fingers kicking around it. Um, Watergate, president, like cross your hands, like you're going to come across like the brim of a hat. President Nixon, N for Nixon, resigns. Fall of communism in Eastern Europe. And we did an E kind of next to your right ear of Eastern Europe. And then keep your hand there, European Union formed. Take your middle finger, um, link those together. European Union formed. Apartheid, it was a practice of keeping people separate based on how they looked um, and giving them different rights um, based on the color of their skin. And so uh, the sign is um, two fists that we pull apart separated. So apartheid abolished in South Africa. And then September 11th, 2001. And then uh, rising tide of freedom uh, we kind of cross your hands and then um, set them free, right? So rising tide of freedom, and it repeats that, so do it higher because it's rising. Rising tide of freedom. Um, and then it ends, this is the end of the timeline song, and it ends with timeline, timeline, I'm part of, put your fingers into your other hand, I'm part of my timeline, timeline, this is my timeline. Um, and this is sort of signing like from the age of ancient empires all the way till now, this is my timeline. And I encourage you, um, you know, especially since September 11th is in the timeline for this week, um, just talking about how, you know, what you remember, um, because we, you know, many of us as parents um, remember when that happened. We can talk about how we're a part of the timeline and our kids, as, as the song ends, you know, I'm part of my timeline, that they are part of history unfolding now, and we can't wait to see um, how they will contribute and what they will do, um, you know, to be a part of their timeline as they grow up. So um, that was timeline for today. History sentence, tell me about the Gulf War. And this is in 1990, President Bush, and this is a sign language B for Bush, and kind of put it over your heart for patriotism. So in 1990, President Bush sent troops, finger guns, sent troops to the Persian Gulf. It's a letter P in sign language. To expel, we kind of did thumbs over our shoulders and kind of dance. To expel Iraqi leader Saddam Hussein and draw his mustache with your pinkies from Kuwait, like wait a minute. We did from Kuwait during the Gulf War. And it's kind of a fun jazzy song this week. Um, those are your, the motions for uh, the Gulf War song. Uh, geography, uh, my goodness, we were doing all of the stans. Um, we're doing Western Asia. And these countries are difficult for them to pronounce, but they really did well. Um, and the song goes like this. It sounds like you are my sunshine. Um, it's from CC Happy Mom. I use a lot of her stuff. Um, and so this is the song. Oh, Western Asia, find the Ural Mountains. They lead you to Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan and Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan and Tajikistan. So you're kind of signing, uh, you know, the Ural Mountains lead you down to a big country, Kazakhstan, um, and then Uzbekistan and Kyrgyzstan sort of cup, uh, make a little V underneath Kazakhstan. And then I flip my hands over for Turkmenistan um, and Tajikistan 
because they kind of make a T, um, and both those countries start with T. So the motions help, or we pointed to it on the map while we sang it as well. Um, okay, and then English. We learned about adjectives today. Uh, let's see. An adjective modifies a noun or pronoun by describing, qualifying, or limiting, and answers the questions. What kind, how many, which, whose? We just sang it. Uh, I didn't have any special motions for it, but we sang it through um, and had some fun moving around while we sang it. So there's an adjective for you. Latin, future perfect tense. Um, we, it's just the song, I didn't have anything um, particular that we did, except we sang in different kinds of voices. We sang like a lion, we sang like a mouse, we picked an animal and sang and then made the sound like our animal after the song. Um, but it's just aero, eris, erit, aramis, eritis, errant, first conjugation, future perfect tense. Um, science. How does heat flow? And the three ways are radiation, conduction, convection. So I asked the question, how does heat flow? Radiation, like the sun's rays, so we did sunshine fingers. Conduction, um, you can feel heat going from one hand to the other. Convection, and that's, um, convection is air or water currents, um, currents in a fluid, um, transmitting heat that way. And we did hot, 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 the song. It's feeling hot, hot, hot. How does heat flow, flow, flow? By radiation, by conduction, by convection. So we had a little fun with that one too. And finally, a distributive law for math. Um, we did a little military call and response. So we did, I don't know, but I've been told, and then the students, I don't know, but I've been told. The distributive law is good to know. The distributive law is good to know. A times open parenthesis. A times open parenthesis. B plus C parenthesis. B plus C parenthesis equals A times B plus A times C equals A times B plus A times C. CC math week 23. CC math week 23. The um, parts, the equals A times B plus A times C was a little hard, like that moved quickly as we were first introducing it. So I think doing something like I just did where you kind of lean like equals A times B plus A times C might help if they have a little movement uh, to help them group those together. You know, A times B plus A times C could be helpful. Um, and that is it. Just continue to review the timeline song, weeks one through six. Practice your timeline. Let me know if you need the video for that. I did the motions and the, the um, song uh, for just weeks one through six, all in one video. And we're gonna sing it at the celebration in two weeks, Friday night, without playing the music um, behind it. So we'll just be singing and just using our voices. And the kids do great with it. Uh, so keep practicing that, and I'll see you in two weeks for week 24. Yay!